Hello guys, this is another video. <clears throat> For those of you who have taken a little bit out of their time to watch this video, please smash that like button and turn that subscribe button from red to grey. Now here, this video is about my pet stick insects. Let me just show you. This one is called Stump. This one's called. Um, Twiglet. And it's an Indian stick insect whose Latin name is Carsus morosus. They are the, one of the most common stick insects and are often used in. and are often kept by novice keepers such as myself and in science labs and uh, in schools because they're relatively strong they're relatively easy to care for for a novice keeper and they're quite hardy so they won't if you accidentally pull them from what their surroundings like a bramble or a leaf or a branch they won't lose a leg or get hurt. Now, they have got six legs and their body is shaped like a stick, hence the name a stick insect. They can grow up to eight, they can grow up to four, three or four inches long, and they are pathogenic, which means that they can reproduce without a male and they reproduce in captivity. Though mine have not reproduced, as far as I know. On average, <clears throat> a female stick insect in the right conditions can lay up to two to three eggs per day. Now they have two antennae, two front legs which have got little red patches on. And the little red patches mean that they're fully grown. And they've got two. <clears throat> And you've got four back legs. Now they tend to stay still for a very long time in order to look like a stick. Now, if you are wanting to keep stick insects, <coughs> they do require a, K a terrarium or an Closure or tank that is at least three times their height. So for this insect, about thirty centimeters or more. The K the terrarium that I have is forty-seven. So if they somehow grew fifteen centimeters long, they still be able to live here happily. Now they don't grow like animals; they molt. And it's very important to keep the tank or terrarium moist and make sure that their droppings are cleared up, cleaned up, but with so that they do not get any kind of mould from the from the well droppings because they could because they are they could gather mold and that could be fatal to stick insects now i recently got these from school because i do like a science club with one of my teachers and yeah so when i bought them they were when i got them they were nymphs which are basically little Basically, smaller version of this, but they were green, and they've grown to I think their full size. Now, I really hope they lay eggs because apparently they can actually be used for. You can actually sell them to people who want to waste stick insects, or 
you can freeze them, the eggs, and sell them off to people who you want to have them for their pets. Now, I actually have another one here. This one is basically the other sick insect of the two, and is significantly more active. As you can see. Now, sting insects are nocturnal, which means that they don't come out, well, they don't really like moving around at day. So it's best if you do not try to disturb them. Now, it's at night right now, so they don't mind. And that will be the end of the video. Goodbye.